uh, I get three to five cases per day. I have solved over thousand plus cases in the last last eight point five years. I don't understand it still, and and I'm sure people listening also are not able to understand. So it's most likely previous president. Don't even try to guess. Wow. So are you the, are you one of the only rare ones at the level that you are? I will tell this after the camera turns. Hello, Vivo fam. Get ready to meet Animesh, a remarkable guy whose intuition can do wonders. You probably won't believe me when I say this, but he has the power to move certain objects with his mind, describe situations he has no involvement in, and even predict the future. His power of intuition has led to him helping authorities solve over a thousand cases, and he doesn't use any of this to make money. He actually has a bachelor's degree in medical psychology, specializing in sports. His curiosity also led him to pursue a master's in biotechnology, specializing in tissue engineering. In this conversation, you will get to peek into the mind of an intuition practitioner and understand how he does what he does. He answers questions about his life, the future, and also shows some of his powers. This is going to be a really fun conversation for you. But before we move forward, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. So let's dive in. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Barely Opinionated Show. This podcast is very different from our regular shows because I have someone very very special here. Um, I have Animesh from the Art of Living. Animesh is an intuition practitioner, which is something that I got to know about today. This term exists. Animesh, why don't you tell people about yourself? What is intuition? What is being an intuition practitioner? So intuition is basically based on sixth sense. Mm. So intuition is this is a course based on meditation. So it's a two days workshop. It's around three point five hours. So we did the course back in two thousand sixteen. Mm. I was the first batch mm. of intuition, and uh, we were around two fifty students. We did the course at the same time. So from then only, I was on the first day. I was able to predict the colors of the Lego blocks. Lego blocks also the uh, if you give a picture to me, I can sense the colors. I can feel the emotions of the colors. Like that, I was able to predict things blindfolded. So it's not a based on uh, just predictions. The prediction is the outcome of this course. It based mostly for the uh, like revolutionize the uh, studies in our current generation. Like. In our current generations, uh, people uh, tend to study. Uh, the students tend to study for around uh, two, uh, twelve to ten to twelve hours. Then. Okay. So before the exams, they study, and after, if you ask them after one month, they don't remember anything. Mm -hmm. So if we uh, do this course, for me, it helped me greatly for in field of studies. Like I was able to do three, four hour studies, and I was fine with it. Like mm -hmm. my efficiency increased. So the time. I got to do other stuffs mm -hmm. in Like I was getting, I was getting more free time after my studies, and the retention of the whatever I was studying was quite good. Interesting. And after one year, I did the course in class eleven. When I was in class twelve, it helped me greatly in my boards exam. So you told me that you were able to understand what sort of question might come in your exam. Yeah. So after I have prepared the whole syllabus. I can figure out which part of the question, uh, like syllabus, is important. Even uh, in my board's exam, uh, for my English exam, I uh, wrote it on a paper and give it to my mom. Mm. That this question will come on this, like um, first question. This question will come, and for this marks, question number, question, and the marks. Okay. That much clarity I was getting after wow. one year. I think there's a superpower that, like. I would call it a superpower. I don't know if you would call it a superpower or not. But then this superpower, a lot everyone would want to have. Um, Actually, everyone has this superpower. Oh, even if you uh, try. So you are telling me I could have that superpower. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Everyone has that. Okay. It's as basic as uh, smelling, as basic as hearing. It is as basic as that. It's just a sense. So we call this the sixth sense, right? Yeah, sixth sense. Right. Our body has five major senses. Apart from them, we have two other extra senses like proprioception and like vestibular. Mm. So proprioception is the sense of your body which is related to the spatial dimension around you, mm. and also the like vestibular helps you to align the, your body according to the gravity. That's the sense of gravity we have in our body. Wow. Even uh, some bacteria and some animals are able to use this gravitational pull of the earth 
to like uh, set directions right like on birds to mass migration mm. so they can actually visualize the gravitational field so uh, different types of sensors are there in their body but apart from that humans have also many kinds of extra additional senses which are yet to be explored okay so these are things that we already have but we haven't really tapped into yeah. and and this practice sort of helps you tap into it Again, guys, this is not a paid. We're not here to promote the <laughs> course or anything. Uh, so I met um, Animesh when I had gone to Art of Living, and um, they were they were showing the capabilities that um, people that pursue this course have. And Animesh was one of their one of their best cases that that sort of came out of this course. And one thing that that he showed that you did that day really blew my mind, which was that we gave you random pictures on the phone. You were blindfolded completely. We gave you random pictures. And just by smelling and tapping it on your head behind, you were somehow or the other able to guess all the pictures. And these were mind you, these were pictures given by us, like random people that were just there, right? So let's try it. Are you ready yeah, for sure. that? Yes. We have a, you, you've got a blindfold as well here. Um, just just so that you guys understand, this will completely block out your vision. Guys, can we put it on the camera just so that they understand that you know this will block out their vision completely? So as you can see, like this is completely just see the thing it's blocked out the vision right completely that is how it's going to look um, I'm also going to try test it and see if it's blocking out or not just in case you know yeah I can't see anything it's completely dark okay why don't you wear it also it's um, uh, it has this uh, underlying cover okay so no light can enter from below okay okay got it so we are going to give him I'm going to give him random pictures on my phone you can blindfold yourself I'm going to give him random pictures on the phone. No, we don't need it. It's fine. And we will see if he can guess. Animesh completely blindfolded right now. You can't see anything. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm just going to search for one random image right now. We are going to do a couple of them. So let's see how many he can guess correctly. Okay. So my first picture for him is this. Can you guys see it on the thing? Is it visible on the camera? See? Yes? Clearly? Now back to him. Correct? Should I turn off the screen? Animesh? Okay. So I have given him the phone. See an eagle. You can see an eagle, okay? Yeah. That's interesting. It's a nation represented by an eagle. It's a nation represented by an eagle, interesting. It's a blue and red color and white color nation. Our powerful nation, USA. Wow, okay. So, He has a hair like a golden, a blonde hair. <laughs> but that's kind of fake. Kind of fake, okay. Not. We don't know if it's fake or not. <laughs> so it's uh, most likely previous president, Donald Trump. Yes. Wow. And it's a Google image and you haven't opened the image as such. Like you have tapped the image once and it popped up on the upper half of the screen which is right now I'm holding the phone upside down, so wow. it's on the other side, and there are multiple pictures um, below it. Holy shit! That was and actual... there's, an American, there's an American flag behind him also, which there's is not visible American... completely in the picture, and there's a table, uh, podium. Uh, yes, there is a podium. I don't see the flag in this, but wow, that is amazing. Okay, I'm going to have someone from the team guess. Uh, uh, put in just any other random. Um, name and let's see. So if the, if we put people that you don't particularly are from, you are not particularly familiar with, how do you guess it? Actually, I can describe him. Okay, but you might not be able to guess yeah. the name. Guess the name. It's based on right thought at the right moment. So how I do it mm. is like when you ask me a question, I get that thought. Um, what I'm like uh, for my previous experience actually. Okay. So if you are showing me something, I was able to. Tell if you are giving me a red color t-shirt or something 
a person who is wearing a red color t-shirt mm. so in my whole life i have seen someone uh, someone wearing the red color t-shirt right okay so like that that thought comes to my mind at that moment wow okay okay we'll get to how this works guys have you decided any right. name yeah quickly quickly give okay i don't know who this is but um, you guys can see right visible on the camera now yes clear visible or visible on the camera okay anivesh are you ready even i don't know who this is our team has sort of this bottom out this person yes put that name again it's a black and white picture okay most of the pictures are black and white okay is it a band is it a band no it's not a band brand band or brand to brand brand it is a brand is a models or some people group of people in that picture no not group of But there were pictures below it huh. where there were group of people. Ah, huh. yes, there are. Actually, the picture you have given it to me. Ah, huh. so you have handed me the picture, and the picture is like got lost. Okay, right. okay, okay. Should I open that again? Yeah. Sure. One second. So this time I have downloaded the image again. Let's put it here. Yes. Okay. Here, take it again. Is there a petrol car? Something related to that. Yes. It's a race car. Yes. It's a famous race car driver. Yes. Most people. Sort of. Ferrari. Ferrari. Yes. I don't know his name. I don't know him actually personally. Okay. But maybe is related to F one. F one. No, not a F one, but there is a race car. Yeah. Yes, yes, there, there is a race, race car. It is Ferrari, and, and it's an old car. model car, not so uh, like recent time. Correct. What What is it, guys? What have you searched? Enzo Ferrari. Enzo Ferrari. Ferrari. Oh, sick. Oh. Very interesting. Okay, anyway, you can take off your blindfold. That was amazing. Okay. Okay. So, Animesh, tell me this. So the last picture that I showed you, it was a, uh, it was a clear image of Deadpool, correct? How did you get to tell me the process that you go through when you are thinking of this? How did you get to the wheelchair? Because I'm guessing you are thinking of Charles Xavier, who's who's the X Men, the head of X Men, right? So how did you get to that and then to two blades and then to Deadpool and then once you describe like even with the Donald Trump example, once you were able to guess the person's name or who that person is. You were able to describe the image more vividly. Yeah, as to what is going on. I can see the image in three D space actually. Okay. Even the things are not in the picture. Mm -hmm. I can see around that. Okay. So, if I uh, like, when you ask me, uh -huh. uh -huh. I can see the three D space around. That. Interesting. So there's like a three D thing going yeah, on in your head when. So tell me this. How does what is the process of thinking? So when I hand you that this phone. What I usually see is you're you're putting it near your nose, which I'm guessing you're trying to smell, and then you tap it behind your yeah. head, and then you like rub the phone also. What is that process? What are you trying to do? So for me, everyone has a different approach to it. Like mm -hmm. mostly, it's related to the visual field and also the mind. Uh, when I rub the phone, I try to get the texture. Okay. And when I smell it, I can like 
if you give me a picture of a pet, I can send what like if it's a vegetarian animal, like okay. uh, hungry boar, mm. kali boar, mm. I can smell that also. I can smell blood. I can smell uh, anything related to that. Okay. And so I get the uh, whenever I you give me a picture, no? so I get relatable thoughts. Okay. On that moment, relatable thoughts as in. Uh, I have experienced throughout my life whatever uh, like pictures and whatever experience I have in, throughout my life, I can sense it on that right moment. Interesting. Okay. And when did you realize that you could do this? Was this right after? Right after the course, I was able to do the color predictions. Okay. okay. I can feel the emotions of the color. Emotions. Even if you do it right now, you being uh, you haven't practiced intuition or something. I don't meditate. I don't. You I have no knowledge, no knowledge of it. But even you can do like if I give you four colors: blue, green, red, yellow. And if I tell you, don't pick anything. Just when I hand it over to you, one of the four cards, you just tell me what comes in your first thought. Hmm. So that will be your intuition. You don't apply your mind to it, and it will be like for you. It can be around. Three out of ten, uh, like chances, you can be right, or sometimes around seven out of ten chances you can be right. Okay. But through practice, you can separate out what is your brain, uh, like guessing, and what is your intuition. Okay, so and you always go with the intuition, yeah, which you practice and practice. Okay, um, so Animesh, coming back to your case, so you said that you were able to find this missing person yeah. that was lost, and the police and the army couldn't couldn't find him. So. W- were you essentially able to visualize from that person's point of view where that location is? When they gave me that case, uh, so I uh, saw his picture and after that, through his, uh, like last thing, all I can see, I was getting no visual cues, no brain activity, no heartbeat. I was able to sense that. And after a certain point in mm. his life, I was getting a blank image. There's nothing I can see after that. Oh. So... Uh, Till that point, which I was able to visualize, I can see from his vision, uh, towards his left, there was a temple that is in pink in color. And towards his right side, there was a highway, three, four kilometers away from his place. And there was this, uh, like, Bangalore uh, ro- uh, mountains, you know, no? mm-hmm. uh, hills, you know. Right. Like, it's not proper soil wala hill. Okay. It's a rocky hill. Okay, got it. So between those rocks, I can see him, his body layering, uh, like lying next to that. And also, there were small plants which didn't get any water hmm. recently hmm. because there was no rainfall. Up to that clarity, I, w- I was able to see that. Wow. So I uh, uh, like marked the location, exact location. And after that, uh, I said tomorrow around 12 or 12.30, you will find his body so on 12 10 they called me that they haven't found it yet so i told him the search party uh, who are searching for his body the leader of that group or someone in the in charge position uh, he was wearing a blue cap uh, red dress or blue uh, like t-shirt hmm. underneath hmm. that person is quite um, healthy in physique and from that person's position his body is around 100 to 150 meters away. So you were able to get into the head of the search parties? I can visualize them. Wow. And you were able to get into his his sort of position and you were able to see what 3D space around it. Wow. So I told them and I kept the phone and within one minute, 50, 53 seconds after he called me that they found his body. Wow. This is this is mind blowing. I'm I don't understand it still, and and I'm sure people listening also are not able to understand, or rather not understand, but like wrap their heads a head around what you're talking about. This much information isn't it isn't it um, detrimental to your mental state? Thinking of all of these things, and and I'm sure you you keep having these intuitions about different things that is going on in the world, or is this something that you? can control i can control when i want to sense it like okay when i want to turn it on okay it okay off. but it's uh like always there in the backup hmm. it always saved me from a lot of things bad things also and for example my friends planned a goa trip hmm. so i was going there uh, on the last moment something clicked in me and i said i have i wasn't going Okay, and uh, sorry, how old are you at this point? Uh, uh, this water. Huh. Uh, so, last year only. 
ओके ओके कार स्ट्रीम सो आई सेड आई आई एम नॉट गोइंग दैट ट्रिप तो दे सेड व्हाई आई सेड जस्ट आई एम नॉट फीलिंग वेल आई कैंसिल इट बट दे हैड एन एक्सीडेंट इन गोवा ऑन दैट सेम नाइट सो वर यू नॉट एबल टू विजुअलाइज दैट एक्सीडेंट टू स्टॉप योर फ्रेंड्स आल्सो फ्रॉम गोइंग आई सेड ड्राइव केयरफुली आई सेड देन बट समहाउ दे मैनेज टू गेट इन टू दैट एक्सीडेंट समहाउ ओके द बैड इट्स द बैड लक आई आई वांट देम लाइक the uh, drive safely and all hmm. but for me it was just a bad feeling that i was getting okay. you didn't know that this would be there would be an accident yeah. you just knew something could something happen something could happen so um okay so what happens is when it comes to this this time uh, um time prediction and future telling for example this accident all right if what is supposed the essential idea is what what is supposed to happen or what needs to happen will happen right now for example people like you that that can maybe visualize what is going to happen in the future if you essentially predict that say for example the accident if you were to tell them that boss is time pe you will you're going to get into the accident don't right isn't that going to alter the future that that you are looking at and isn't that going to create like a butterfly effect of different different events actually maybe that's the only future like by telling them by knowing I mean, like getting them the information maybe that's the course of future okay you are saying maybe that is what is that supposed is to that is that uh, supposed to happen also i don't tell the exact thing mm. i just uh, tell them be nudge careful. them mm. yeah i don't give away everything like this will happen to you okay people might get scared also yeah yeah, yeah. for that so i'm guessing again we are going I, i want to go deeper into the psychological aspect of this i'm guessing like you are also in some way able to think about say when you would when when you would be you when you were going to pass away or do you do you understand that do you know that is that something that you yeah. think about shankar ji told me not to predict like death and birth and something related to the, those two and also like stock market even <laughs> if you say no like i can if i am able to do this yeah i can uh, i was going to come to that <laughs> see into <intuition. laughs> <laughs> so i can predict the uh, stock market as well i can like move the whole economy yeah but uh, that's kind of illegal no illegal plus it's not unethical uh, it's unethical but why is this illegal because you are using your yes, again if you do it for yourself for example if you use your intuition and sort of you you trade in the market or you invest in the market and you do it based on your intuition that is what people essentially do right they study they will based you based on their intuition and they'll gain something you could use that for yourself and for your future benefits and for your financial benefits no see uh, the thing is there is up to a certain point that you need after that it becomes greed mm. so greed you shouldn't be greedy and after some point it's a very minute thing okay like you can slip away very easily mm. into greed mm. so that's why if you are doing something like that kind of it's like a insider trading only no yeah yeah you're getting into everything and you are able to like uh, do huge profit for yourself so kind of it's bad for the economy also but anyways you know what movies have told me that these are stories that lead to super villains <laughs> being born because people with like really really good power and and something something go happens in their life which makes them use that power for um something wrong mm. what is it that's stopping you from doing so that? there is this cap on me okay and so uh, if i like uh, do it for the wrong intention no it won't happen if you ask me some people even ask some wrong stuffs about their own family members also oh they come to me and say when my husband will die okay they ask me so those are wrong intentions so if i in- get involved in those so my mind won't be pure hmm so i can't think like logically or using my intuition hmm hmm so those things i avoided okay okay so um again you could but you don't use this for your, for commercial purposes at all commercial as in can... commercial as in ki perform karna jaise for example mentalist magicians do their i mean i know those are tricks that's different from what you do but then yours is also an art form that you could be using for commercial purposes so i have been going to different states okay recently. so recently i was um, i was in chatisgarh hmm. back uh, one month ago hmm. so i went there and gave 22 demonstrations okay so i i'm inspiring the new generation hmm. upcoming generation so i'm inspiring them to do this course and it will help them in studies hmm. like 
it will be a revolution for the um, like the studies field yeah cuz um, say for example passing the upsc exam yeah. finishing je getting into the top colleges of of the world this will be helpful for that is uh, did you not try any of those were you not interested in trying any of these i uh, i gave my neat huh. got a dental huh. uh, like government in uh, government uh, only i got dental but i didn't opt for because i wanted to be a like scientist okay yeah so i and, and like if you give efforts and also like uh, if you do the course you have to give efforts huh. after that it will turn out to your like good results and all okay so did you not want to try giving these exams just to see if your uh, intuition is helping you actually i have given exams like competitive exams i have given mm-hmm. i have good uh, got also very good marks also okay okay like some exams uh, for me in the my boards exam board ex- exam i was uh, doing very well in my biology mm. english chemistry i did very outstanding marks got very outstanding marks in my school mm. so that helped me a lot in that way got it but i have to study for that okay after that i study i can use my got intuition it. and then okay. click fine so um i just want to switch gears a little bit i want to ask you a question i don't know if you'd be willing to answer it or not but i'm going to can you can you think about what i'm going to ask you you have multiple things on your mind right now okay you have think of two three things okay maybe related to a food maybe related to your channel <laughs> growth and also your health okay wow okay you're getting into my mind right now <laughs> but like do you know the question that i was going to ask you you have two three topics in your mind you were sorting things out okay so tell me what is what are those two three topics that you that came to your mind one thing related to your channel like okay. your growth uh. you have asked me previously yeah, also yeah yeah mm. Give me your hand. You want to know about a specific position in your life? Okay. Is it true? No. Okay. I'm going to ask you about a current event. Okay. Okay. Hmm. But that came to your mind somehow, like specific, uh, like uh, point in your life. Uh huh. But what does that in your mind? Yeah, that that's in my mind for sure. Yeah. So the three things that you said that are in my mind are in my mind right now, and that is running. and that i'm going to come to as well <laughs> but the question that i want to ask you right now is mm. what do you think of the elections have you can you tell us or can you give some sort of a idea of who is going to win and the idea of how many seats they could win exact seat number i want maybe a range bjp will win okay for sure in the next election there might be a shift maybe a change in the leader in this election the next next one there'll be a change in the leader leader okay sure. okay may not be nandan modi okay there will be other candidates lining up okay okay and seats mostly majority of the seats will be for bjp okay very few seats i can see for the opposition party but it's kind of um, due to many events <laughs> yeah which are going on right now due to that and in the next election that will affect the position of the like leading part interesting okay there but uh, going on okay right. okay so so will will bjp win the majority or will their will their alliance win the majority yeah, they don't need alliance they don't need alliance interest okay that's going to be f- interesting to see we're going to put it out when the results come out okay um so animesh you were t- also telling me that you work obviously you work yeah. with the police and and you work with the government to sort of help them solve cases as well um how how did you get into that and is that something you do regularly uh i get 3 to 5 cases per day 3 to 5 cases per day yeah, yeah. i have solved over 1000 plus cases in the last last 8.5 years wow so i have been doing this like previously i weren't getting so much case on a frequent basis but nowadays i'm getting not i'm saying ki 3 3 and 5 cases are very big big cases i'm not saying that but one or two cases per day can be some medium or good high range and what is the biggest case that you've been a part of this is one of the and that case is bangalore correct and also i have solved uh, help like uh, nypd okay yeah. new york police department okay. so there was this show uh, called gotham do you know it? yeah yeah gotham the batman yeah, show right it's not about batman basically but it's revolving around the gotham story. correct correct uh, so that director hmm. uh, on uh, their 
daughter was missing most likely that director's daughter was missing it okay. was in the initial years i was doing intuition back then i predicted that she was in a warehouse and that warehouse is kind of uh, d- dusky or something like that in that environment and there is too much dust and she was hiding there she wasn't kidnapped i said that hmm. she wasn't kidnapped she went out uh, to like find her own way in her life Hmm. she wasn't kidnapped they were guessing that she got kidnapped and all but she wasn't kidnapped so she ran away and she, she was hiding away. somewhere yeah. and that's how you sort yeah. of so her. nypd contacted some art of living teacher there and they contacted me via mail hmm. and i solved the case over mail yeah. wow okay so are you the, are you one of the only rare ones at the level that you are or are there multiple people there are many people uh, like me uh, many multiple students they have other th- abilities like they can hold your hand and tell whatever is going on in with your body so this is something that ayurvedic doctors also do do they have intuition is that something that they practice yeah with meditation uh, if you are doing uh, meditation for a long time most of the time uh, intuition will click okay itself yeah okay okay and um, so for example even even with ayurvedic doctors so what do you say that the good ayurvedic doctors are the ones that have practiced intuition mm, yeah no doubt they hmm. have a they don't have to specifically practice intuition hmm. um, with meditation and with time hmm. it comes automatically anyway but this whole idea of meditating is something that a lot of people talk about right like for example when 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 i talk to people that are into med- into meditation anything that happen they'll be like hard meditate meditate but that idea of meditation has sort of become um i i would say like in a way people make fun of it ki ha ha theek hai sab cheez ke liye meditate thodi karenge to when you talk about meditation is in that case also applicable like ki har cheez mein meditation karne se is that the solution to everything see meditation brings a balance in your life hmm. so i have told many people jo log pehle they were doing drugs hmm. they were doing alcohol hmm. so i have told them in the initial phases of their life hmm. do meditation but they weren't keen into th- Uh, doing meditation they were laughing kya kar rahe hmm. <laughs> meditation to bude log karte hain huh. sadhu log karte hain huh. they used to tell me that but nowadays after seeing so much progress like i always whenever i go to a talk show whenever i go to my interviews i always promote meditation so after getting to know about what are the benefits of it they come back to me and they say please teach me meditation okay. look i am not a teacher but i can suggest good meditation to you hmm so i i do them like it's it's a like a um, trend that is going on mm. and it will follow up and meditation will follow up to that trend mm. people are leaning towards it mm. my current trend is moving towards my moving towards meditation yeah. for sure but even even when when i went to art of living i learned meditation and everything i came back i tried doing it for like 15 days and then it just it just fell apart that, because that's the thing huh. the thing uh, you have to have the will power and huh. the like patience very simple in simple words i would like to say you can take a horse to the water mm. you cannot make it drink mm. like that you yes. can like one person can tell you do meditation. they can guide you guide but you but whether you will do it or not that's up to you <laughs> um so animesh when 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 you when you have these powers with your life itself are you able to improve your life using these powers yeah no uh, so for my exams it was uh, helpful correct also this goa incident i told you uh, uh. this was very helpful for me like even uh, this intuition power uh, even is that simple as um, when one kid is uh, in that age people try to like drive very fast mm. the roads mm. some people like succumb to depression and they commit suicide mm. and all but you know like it's a matter of seconds just if that moment passes no one will commit suicide hmm it's a ma- matter of that moment that right? moment heat yeah. of that moment correct if that moment passes away you won't commit suicide even uh, for the accident you are driving rashly on the road so when you accelerate too much and just for a second if a thought comes to your mind it slow down hmm so you slow down and the accident gets prevented but be- beyond these accidents and beyond the exams and everything like in your life in general there are certain events or there are certain things that you do that you that leads up to you becoming or you being happy or whatever your your goal in your life is maybe your goal could be having more success having more fame or having just happiness right 
that idea of achieving happiness is something that a lot of people strive to do but with your with with the power that you have you can you can sort of understand what is it that i need to do or what is what is this if i do this one event it will it lead to my ultimate happiness or not is that is that something that you use regularly yeah yeah so when you are when you are choosing to do certain certain thing do you understand what the outcome is already going to be yeah to some extent i do and okay. what uh, actions i need to put behind it ha uh-huh. ha i get to know that okay even for the, uh, like you said being happy hmm. being happy comes with your circle as well correct whatever uh, like uh, whatever people you are going around with hmm. uh, so i have very few friends hmm. in my life whole life like i have uh, two three like close friends only so for for me when a person comes to my uh, comes to meet me for the first time i can see how my friendship will go with that person and how that friendship will end wow so that clarity i get in my mind and that helps me in making no, but isn't that mentally like deter- deteriorating because you are having to process so many emotions and so much so much information it's not about um, i do it on a random uh, it comes to me randomly huh. i don't have to apply my mind every time right like, it's in tuned with uh, inside me right now hmm. like after doing uh, practicing intuition for 8.5 years i don't need to like focus it every hmm. time hmm, hmm, hmm. it just comes it just comes yeah hmm. interesting also uh, like i have solved many uh, missing cases also like hmm. missing people also theft cases okay like uh, i have i was in delhi So is the police contacting you for this or is it the people also contact people, uh, people mostly people okay and sometimes police uh, they are looking into that case and they by chance know some art of living teacher they have heard about this course acha who okay. that got it so in delhi i in delhi there was this person who was missing a signed check of 12 lakh rupees so i was able to say where that check was it was in a green color uh, like file and that file is in uh, me level and around that there was a red and black cloth so that much clarity i was okay. able to get um mm-hmm. yes so you were talking about the case that that you found the file so when when you look at these cases you say that you're able to visualize the environment around so are you are you essentially getting into that particular object or are you getting into that particular person's uh mind and sort of looking at it how does this how does it work essentially so in my initial years so i was when someone asked me a question so i blank my mind mm. uh do the process the intuition process i uh, blank my mind and i visualize myself i was in a dark room mm. and there was a water mm. underneath me little bit of water like okay. this level of water and i was standing there i can visualize it around me uh on that level in the initial days and nowadays it's a white room i am standing there and suddenly that room uh, transform into that 3d space <laughs> So I can visualize it like, like that. This this feels like a movie that you are describing. So, um, what are some of the other interesting cases that you've been able to solve with your powers? So, even uh, my mom is having a boutique. Okay. So my mom's boutique. There was this person that came to her boutique, and um, by some hooker crook, she sent my mom to make tea. Okay. So she was making tea. Huh. So this person mm, like took uh, one sari. that was a costly sari and put it inside a bag and i was in calcutta my mom is in dugapur so um, uh, my mom didn't know it and after 2 3 days my mom was not able to uh, get a find that sari find, find mm-hmm. that sari so she contacted me ki aisa aisa ho gaya so i said ki there was this woman who was kind of this around this age mm-hmm. and she was uh, having a blue bag mm-hmm. and she took your sari and she's and she has kept it in a gray color metal almira and it's in his uh, like in her son's home around that uh, i can figure out the exact details of that case so i told my mom but like that you can't charge any person no uh-huh. you have taken my Correct. sari but she my mom contacted uh, her relative so she told me ki yeah, i have seen my uh, mother in law that she has kept a sari of that color in a almira gray color almira so up to that clarity i was able to get and recently the case is apart recently i am able to talk to animals non verbally 
okay yeah i can communicate with the animals non verbally and what are you telling them or what are you telling them sense the uh, mood i can sense what pain they are in and whatever like behavioral changes they are um, they are needing in their life is that something you're practicing right now or is that something that you're good at right now no, after certain point no there are some uh, like after some levels i will say after doing intuition for a while certain things get unlocked ha huh. ultimately like um, automatically huh. gets unlocked hmm. in me for me it was firstly uh, the question paper i have told you correct after that reflexes got very fast correct me reflexes like uh, if uh, if i am eating something and the spoon falls down and if i am not able to hold it with my hand i hold it with my toes like that reflexes got very fast <laughs> even if a car is coming from behind so car is coming from behind i am able to see the number plate of the car the color of the car so like that the reflexes got very fast and after that practicing intuition for 3 to 4 years i will i was able to do telekinesis okay. something what is telekinesis no could you please describe it so telekinesis is uh, able to move objects with power of my mind okay we, we are going to test that yes <laughs> okay. but yes continue so telekinesis i was able to do and after that i have solved this cases and recently mm, i was able to see the uh, like all as of the people okay yeah so if someone's giving what kind of an bad energy vibe, yeah mm, nice bad vibe of good vibe. you usually like people like me uh, we'll just like go to people and be like how oh, this guy's giving me a bad vibe but you can actually everyone see. can sense it no even in some rooms ha huh. rooms or places you go you feel heavy or you feel light ha huh. that's an energy you can tap into got it what do you feel in this room right now it's kind of i see growth you see growth are you just saying that because we are sitting here No, no, no. <laughs> I'm saying this in general. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, can you please set that up for me? The paper and everything. Let's let's try this. So, th- this is something that you had shown that yeah. day also, where you were able to sort of move the paper. Yeah. Correct. So we're going to try and see. You also said that you can you you are in some way able to play with flames. Yeah. It's called uh, pyrokinesis. Pyrokinesis. So how does that work again? Actually, whenever I do this thing, telekinesis or something. I feel it as a part of my body. Okay. As easily as you can move your fingers, as easily as you can like uh, close your eyes or like control your body. Ha. Huh. So like that only you can uh, feel it as a part of your body and move that object. Interesting. Okay, let me just prepare this for you. So um now he is going to show us how he can move an object. What is this called again? This is telekinesis. Kind of- telekinesis box is a paper hmm. this is just a pen tip and this is an eraser eraser nothing that obviously he brought we we just arranged it like here wow did you get that yeah uh, So how is this? So how are you doing this? Tell me that. First of all, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm focusing on this point, age yeah. of the like age of the tip hmm. thing. So you know, no, uh, like a door. Hmm. If you push near to the hinge, it won't move. Hmm. If you like go to the towards the outer side of the door, ha, huh. you can push it very easy. Correct. Like momentum. Correct. Correct. So like that. So I uh, put my focus on near this tip of the paper. So yeah so when you're when you're doing this how is it happening what 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 sort of power are you using to be able to move the object i know you're thinking huh. bit of as a part of my body that's it hey hey no but then agar aap usko move kar pa rahe ho kuch energy se move kar pa rahe ho na to wo kya kya energy hota hai wo matlab wo bas mind control type hi hai mind control nahi hai it's a extension of my mind you can say like that okay so when you are sitting right now ha huh. you are wearing a cloth so at the subatomic level uh, you can't differentiate between your cloth and like your body right correct uh, so you don't know where your body ends and where the your cloth start at a sub- subatomic, subatomic got it you can't differentiate between it 
even for our body, uh, like in seven years or so, mm. like uh, all of the cells in our body gets replaced. Mm. So if all the cells get replaced, uh, where is our consciousness present? It's present in our whole uh, like brain, mm. uh, but there is constant rewiring of the brain, right? Mm. Constant rewiring. So we f- tends to forget something. They are in the subconscious mind, but we tend to forget them. Right? Mm. We make up new patterns. We capture uh, like and uh, get new information. So you know about the ship of Theseus. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. So ship of Theseus goes to the uh, like sea, and after that. One part of it gets broken or damaged, and then it comes to the port and gets repaired. So, like that, if ship of Theseus con a ship contains four parts, given even an example: front, middle, back, and sail. So, after many expeditions to the sea, the part of the ship gets one by one replaced by a new part. So, if you make a ship out out of the whole broken part. And the new ship that you have, so which one of that ship is yours? Mm. You can't tell, right? Mm-hmm. And which part it became a new ship? You can't tell. You can't tell. Same for our body. So really, working with like a subatomic particle, a subatomic part. Yeah, intuition and all works on a subatomic level and quantum level. Okay. So, neuros, uh, neuroscience tells. Uh, like intuition works on thought recognition, hmm. pattern recognition. Hmm. Okay, uh, so pattern recognition, our brain is capable of deducing the patterns, hmm. seeing a particular. Just like I say, no, when you give me a picture, so I can remember. Or like uh, a thought comes to my mind, whatever I have seen in my previous life, I can hmm. recognize the pattern. Hmm. So how that pattern is working? That science is working on that, right? Mm-hmm. Like how intuition like hmm. works actually. Got it. It's working on that, but actually, got it. On a quantum level, uh, have you heard about quantum entanglement? I've heard of it, but you could please explain it for the audience. So, quantum entanglement is basically two particles, maybe an electron, maybe a proton. Any two particles that are paired initially, and they get separated uh, in two different directions. Initially, they were one particle only. They mm. were like a couple. Mm. They were together. Correct. They broke up. Okay. So broke up. Uh, that can be done with a mm. polarizer. Mm. Polarizer is a kind of a filter that splits light or something in a particular direction. Okay. That gives light. Like scattering is not there. Just a particular direction it gives light. Particular direction. So like that, mm, if you split a, a particle in two direction and those particles went to different edge of the universe. Mm. So you know, light. Nothing can fa- travel faster than the speed of light. Correct. But this is saying that atoms has memories or information. Okay. So they can tra- uh, like travel like information uh, to the vastness of space. Space is many millions and billions light years across. Correct. But you're telling me that a a particle from Earth can go light years ahead and deliver one piece of information to the other. Not only information. If you rotate the if the particles are entangled, if you rotate the particle on the left side, the instantly. On the uh, the other uh, particle will rotate on the left side. They are tra- giving information on quantum level, but that is faster than the speed of light. Okay, so there are two sub subatomic particles which are essentially connected. When when they break up, they go their different ways. Yeah. But then at the end of it, they still stay connected. Yeah. So is that also the logic behind? So there is a saying that um, there are five or six other people that are similar to you or that are just like you. There's some 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 saying like that, correct? Right? If I'm not wrong, doppelganger is what you're telling about. Kind of like doppelganger, similar appearances, similar um, thing. And there is a there is a show also called The Sixth Sense. I don't know if you've seen it or not. So that in that show, the idea again, obviously that show is not like talking about real stories. But then the idea is that there are people in this world that you're very connected with. So if something is happening to you here, they feel it there, and vice versa, right? If they yeah. something happens to them there, you feel it here as well. Is it a similar? Do you do you believe in this? And is it a similar logic? Yeah, yeah, most likely. Uh, because th- those people are kind of same, having the same vibrations as you. Got it. So you can like even physics. No, huh. resonance works like that. Okay. So if two frequencies are similar, then you vibrate naturally. Also, in case of bonding, huh. in case of friendship, huh. you bond to them because you vibrate resonate like them only. So what? What you are telling me is that what you do as a as a uh, intuition practitioner is 
basically just science. Yeah. Just science in the very basic form. Science is so, so sci- I, I would imagine scientists wouldn't want to believe it. But So, I have uh, went to a neuro conference hey. in uh, Mumbai. Hey. It was in Mumbai uh, back in 2019, I guess. So, there were many neuroscientists and also neurosurgeons as well. So, they were, I gave a demo there. So, first of all, um, they didn't believe it. But when they come up to the stage and they gave me the phone and I told them, they gave me a photo of a Earth, actually, a photo of Earth. But when they uh, gave it to me, I felt like a muddy ball. <laughs> uh, I okay. told them, because it's not actual picture of an Earth. Okay. It's an animated picture. Uh, the mountains and waters are too much in like... Like it's a very animated thing. Anima- got it, got it. So correct. I told them it's a muddy ball kind of a thing. So they said, and then I can sense like Earth, uh, like trees and all. So I said, it's Earth. So like that, after the demonstration, first of all, many scientists weren't believing. But after the conf- conference ended, many scientists come up to me. And they said they are actively researching in this field. Wow. Okay. So actually, they are research- there is research going on in this research field. going in this field. So maximum of the Western science don't uh, like discount it for some magic trick or something. Oh, got it. Yeah. But... Nowadays, scientists are like keen on learning how brain works. Okay. Okay. But I'm guessing you are one of the top in the world or are there other... I'm sure there are other people like you, but then at at your level, when you're saying that you're able to do it at to such an extent, you must be one of the top in the world. Has that conversation ever happened? And have these scientists ever tried to approach you to explore your brain in any way? Yeah. I got my brain map few days back. Okay. It was in a research institute. I was doing telekinesis only. So I got my brain map and uh, they figure out the alpha, beta, gamma and delta waves of the brain. Okay. And they found out results are yet to be announced but they said key that uh, like brain waves and quite uh, the brain is quite stable at that moment. Hmm. Uh, it is working as if I am moving that part of my body actually. Okay. How are we, how we uh, when we move our hand or something like that so that part of our brain is active when now when we are, I'm moving that object using my telekinesis. So is it also that um, it's it's obvious it's said that we are using a very small percentage of our brain. I think six percent or something, six or ten percent of our brain. I want to elaborate on that. Huh. Some people have like wrong notions about. Oh, it's wrong, is it? Yeah, actually, most of the people got it from that movie called Lucy, right? Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. So we use five. Uh, they say what about? If we use 100% of ah, the ah, ah. But that's not the case, actually. That's a wrong... Uh... Long, long notion. Okay. Actually, we use the part of the brain, right? Um, when we are talking or something, when we are using uh, the 6% of that neural capacity we are having in our brain, like different, different things we do in our life, be it talking, be it thinking, be it anything, we are using different parts of the brain. Achha. So it's like ki at a given moment we are you are using only six percent six percent capacity of our neural capacity. Got it. Got it. But different parts of the brain works <laughs> works in different ways. Yeah. But nee, so even with that idea, ki for example, if I'm talking right now, I'm using a certain part of my brain, six percent occupy approximate. But agar wo six percent se agar main ten percent kar sakta ho ya fifteen percent kar sakta ho, is that something that is working for you or ex- or what I'm trying to say is is are you using more brain capacity to be able to do what you're doing? Is that something that's... They figure out that when I do intuition prediction or telekinesis, so certain part of the brain is active, not like I'm using more hmm. of the brain. Hmm. It's just like I'm giving you coffee hmm. and you are smelling the coffee. So right then, you're just focusing on the smell, right? Hmm. That part of the brain is active. Got it. Not the whole part. You have to don't, uh, you don't have to do something extraordinary. Huh. So I'm telling that only. Like, okay. using intuition is not thing extraordinary. You have to put too much effort on your brain. Okay. Even like uh, dolphins. Hmm. Humans basically use 8 to 10% of the brain. Dolphins sometimes use 12% of them. Hmm. That doesn't mean that they're more intelligent than us or they're like, super intelligent beings hmm. it's not like that hmm. it's just that their uh, brain wiring works like that they communicate like that interesting okay tell me this when did you realize that you had you could do this so i was doing this um, after doing the course it was around three to four years so be- no be- so before let's go back before the course you did the course when you were 17 yeah seven right but before that i'm sure there is something that you need inside you to be able to do something like this right or any random person can do it. You said even I can do it, yeah. but 
It's mostly uh, the younger kids they get a better like growing opportunity they get a better head start on head start also you got it. but the thing is uh, for me <clears throat> what helped me was practice hmm. like intuition i practiced this meditation course i practiced it for like uh, 8.5 years hmm. and then you told me that every day you you have not missed a single day of meditation no. hmm. so that accounts for like 1000 plus hours of meditation till now got it Like it's a twenty minutes meditation, but I'm guessing art of living is not the first one to sort of come up with this kind of a no, course. No, no, no. It actually, <laughs> for me, I saw this uh, like um, course on a news channel. Oh, okay. So news channel, like it was a different, uh, like different institute that was coaching uh, for this course. Uh, it was called like a midbrain activation or brain power something like that. Uh, so after I did that, uh, like I saw that course. I was um, that uh, course was happening in New Delhi, I guess. in a few schools and all but um, uh, in my city i was in durgapur there was no such course available but after few years down the line like ravishankar ji devised a course like this and my mom told me about this yeah so do you know the intent behind how, why he came up with this course or why art of art of living came up with this course so basic the most important thing is to revolutionize the field of study and uh, like to change like put better thoughts uh, like right thoughts at the right moment that is the motto of intuition right thought at the right moment mm. behind every child so they became uh, like become great leaders for our country better decision makers for our country interesting so i mean these these powers can come to use in any and every way like are there is the government or is the is the military hiring people like you that that sort of help them in in different decision making capabilities because i'm sure there's a lot of practicality for example even talking about any of the wars that are going on right now whether it's the russia ukraine war or the israel palestine war in all of those cases there is a lot of role that you could be playing or people like you could be playing i will tell this after the cambridgeans <laughs> actually i have been doing few things okay you know, okay i have been helping people also Okay, but we won't put it on camera. Yeah. Okay, no, no, no. But yeah, no, but for so it is happening. What what happening? It is happening. It is happening. Okay, understood. Okay, interesting. Um, any 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 sort of a any sort of an event that you've been able to sort of really predict well in the past, or do you predict something that could happen in the future? Right now, right now. Whether like a macro event or a micro event. Macro event. Is solar flare coming up? Okay, in a few years maybe. In a few years, okay. Yeah, that can disrupt like communication and satellites. Okay, got it. But um, do you do you can you can you also do you also have the capability to say for example, um, climate change is something that is really uh the talk of the town right now, right? Um, so and and they said that they say that twenty by twenty fifty if the Earth's temperature increases by two deg two degrees Celsius instead of one point five, it could be really detrimental to Earth. Are these things that you can think about and sort of envision? Actually, uh, to be very honest, those things are like predictions. Huh. But the thing is, I don't think that like it's too much of a future. Future? Uh, no, it's not too much of a future. But it's like that's too early for our uh, like climate to change. Like ah, uh, okay. at uh, till that point, we will be more cautious about. Ah, uh, okay. So it won't be that bad. Mm-hmm. Like if you don't take uh, precautions, it can be bad, like worse than that. But what my intuition says, like till that point, we have reached some like agreements and all. We can minimize that. We can minimize it. So, um, my team had two questions that you had heard before. First question is, when was the last time you made a bad decision, or do you not make bad decisions at all? No bad decisions. I used to make, and that was due to I trusted my mind more. Acha. Then my intuition. By doing uh, doing intuition, I never made a bad dish. Yeah, right. So, 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 so,
interesting okay next level of the next level of mind it's not like using mind it's mm-hmm. just getting in tuned to whatever happening around you okay it's like connecting to the higher consciousness super consciousness got it got it i know your your mother is here i don't know if i can ask this question auntie i'm sorry i'm going to ask this question but uh, you don't drink you don't smoke you don't do any of that do you think that if you do that uh, or have you not tried it or did you stop because it was affecting you in a different way or do you think that doing that would impact your your current capabilities so i want to answer that because i have a whole part of my life dedicated to that oh is it okay so actually i never drank or i never smoked hmm. but the thing is i used to live in a flat in calcutta even in uh, pune also like pune it's a huge center for doing drugs and yeah, all yeah. our campus states like no a drug free campus but the thing is most of the students do drugs yeah. uh, and uh, also alcohol and all but the thing is whenever uh, someone uh, like initiated me to have this uh, like weed or smoke or drugs um, it never happened to me that i get inclined to that acha i just didn't want to do it just i don't want to do it plus i also tell them not to do it but it's their decision, it's their decision. i don't want to control them Correct. i just tell them don't do it even if you are doing just do it in like it should be the thing that is controlling you correct but i never did it like i used to live with uh, like other people like other they were not my roommate uh, they were um, uh, like living next to my room not my exact roommate but they used to drink they used to have smoke and all but i it didn't like i didn't have the urge to do it got it एक बोलते हैं ना संगति हाँ आपको खराब कर सकता है करेक्ट खरबूजे को देख के खरबूजा रंग बदलता है बट इट डिडेंट हैपन फॉर मी इट्स दैट राइट थॉट एट द राइट मोमेंट तो ये फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो वो आर लिसन टू दिस टू दिस पॉडकास्ट यू वॉन्ट मेक एनी रॉन्ग डिसीजन इन योर लाइफ एज सिंपल एज गेटिंग गुड मार्क्स सो देर आर मेनी रॉन्ग डिसीजन दैट पीपल गेट इन टू इन दिस एज in this age of social media in this age of like too much peer pressure okay in the case of um, like education and jobs so f- i want to tell uh, for education also like abhi ke parents bolte hain ki ye bachcha ye pad lo tumhare liye samaj future secure ho jayega but those parents tell them from their experience what they have faced in their life for the um, like earlier generation for our parents generation it was government job hmm government job kar lo tumhara future future settled hai for the previous generation it was something different hmm. for, for our generation it is something different and the, for the coming generation it will be something different correct but the thing is if the child knows what things they should do hmm. to excel in the like field study whatever they are into their parents don't have to guide them this is the best gift one parent can give their child ki it's like If you give a man a fish, they will eat for a day. If you teach a man how to fish, they will eat forever. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm. If they are uh, doing uh, like practicing intuition or practicing this meditation, they will have the clarity what they should do in their life, what Not they it. should be doing, and what will bring them uh, like success in their life. Interesting. Okay. Do you follow politics at all? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. So, what do you think? Let's let's talk about India in general. What do you think? Uh, India needs to do to become. Uh, I mean, we are we are sort of a superpower, but then there's still a lot of wealth gap that is there, right? Mm-hmm. What what according to you needs to be done to improve that? Is there anything based on your intuition that you think there is a shift coming? Ah, huh. in the recent generation, that is entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. So entrepreneurship and startups are the future of India. Mm-hmm. Like up to around 2035 at least. Till 2035. 35. So after that, there will be more jobs. so this can reduce the like the gap mm-hmm. economic gap between the two uh, sections of our society <laughs> that's the most important ah, okay so you're saying the startup culture is what will reduce the wealth gap between generation also like government is trying but the thing is people also have to come up with many ideas mm-hmm. the private sector as well mm-hmm. government is trying no doubt there can be lot of more improvements mm-hmm. but in the private sector they can uh, like in the people also they can uh, make a new advancement and also like explore different aspect in our like different aspect in general of okay. entrepreneurship and business okay um one more question around this is that there's so much communal divide that exists right like hindu muslim and all of that 
उसका क्या होगा अकॉर्डिंग टू योर इंटूशन डू यू थिंक दैट जस्ट गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू टू गेट मोर एंड मोर सिवियर अंटिल अ पॉइंट वेयर देर इज देर इज अ मेजर क्लैश और वॉट और इज देर गोइंग टू बी अ पॉइंट ऑफ सेटलमेंट सी दिस इज वॉट हैपनिंग इन अमेरिका राइट नो राइट करेक्ट दैट इज दैट हैज डिवाइडेड द नेशन करेक्ट आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैट टू हैपन इन माई नेशन दे हैव स्लेवरी एंड टिल नाउ फ्यू अमेरिकन लाइक देर इज अ डिविजन बेस्ड ऑन द कलर ऑफ द स्किन करेक्ट black people are not treated as well as white people there are divisions so i don't want that to happen to my country and break my country apart hmm. so at the end of the day it's the politicians sometimes the capitalists sometimes other people are doing it for their own profit hmm. but they should ultimately people should be aware hmm. ki they are the humans after all hmm. there are there but wahi to baat hai yaar wo log samajhte nahi hai actually impulsive ho jate hai bahut jyada bahut impulsive ho jate hai लोग अपने कम्युनिटी को कोई बोल दिया कि आप खतरे में हो आई एम सेइंग इट फॉर द बोथ साइड करेक्ट कोई एक साइड का एक साइड का बात नहीं है ना एंड बोथ साइड हैव गुड एग्जांपल्स बैड एग्जांपल्स करेक्ट बोथ साइड के तो अल्टीमेटली इट बॉइल्स डाउन टू यू बीइंग ह्यूमन ये रिलीजन का भी बात नहीं है रिलीजन का भी बताता नहीं है कि आप वायलेंट बनो आप ये बनो पीपल मैनिपुलेट द रिलीजन टू गेट थिंग्स डन गॉट इट आप बीट हिंदुज़म का भी बात बोलो आप मुस्लिम का भी जिहादी एंड ऑल जितना भी बात बोलो दे ट्विस्ट द रिलीजन सम हाउ दैट कैन इन्फ्लुएंस द पीपल एंड दैट मे अटैक लाइक अदर पीपल ऑफ द अदर कम्युनिटी बट सो डू यू थिंक इन द फ्यूचर इट्स गोइंग टू गेट द डिवाइड इज गोइंग टू गेट वर्स आफ्टर सम पॉइंट इन द फ्यूचर देर आई डोंट थिंक देर विल बी अ कॉमन रिलीजन लाइक देर विल बी अ शिफ्ट इन दैट ट्रेंड ओके देर वोट बी अ रिलीजन एज एंड रिलीजन एज इन maybe religion will exist but it will be in a different form interesting okay 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 last question i want to end it with this you're in bangalore yeah and ipl is going on <laughs> you know where i'm going with it yeah. when will rcb win the ipl <laughs> title this year to seems unlikely so tell me which year do you predict we will they have a lot of decisions to make in the team hmm. selecting the um, good coaches good decisions they are not making they not there are too many people in that team they yeah. are dragging the decisions along that too many decision makers which yeah. are not getting making good decisions then yeah, too many cooks spoil the broth ha that's the thing and team ko agar thoda sa reform kiya jaye they definitely have the capability you know na like virat kohli gail hmm. abd players hmm. they are the top players of cricket but still they like fail to win the ipl correct it's not how good of a player you are it's about how well connected the team is and how well the team is managed yeah they should work as a unit hmm. there is no one man show correct aap ek din khel sakte ho next din aap out ho gaye aapka team aapke paas usse to nahi jitega na correct that's the thing the if they make reforms definitely they can so which year do you think this reform might happen actually reform ke liye they need more discussions hmm. right now um and it's quite quite difficult for them okay actually uh, the team shift no? every year there is a shift in the team correct so it's not about the only the team and it's all about the players mm mm-hmm. mm the players change or year de do aap koi abhi 24 chal raha hai kya lagta hai it might change actually but in the coming to ipl in within the coming to ipl mm. to the ipl there is a good chance i i won't say they will win there is a good chance if they manage the team they definitely can do it in but um, there are more decisions to make in that team mm. it's not well made like this year also the pre- bowlers are not there yeah it's not yeah. a good team in the sense it's a good team but the thing is it's not well structured and structured and the, it's not acting as a unit correct catered kind of in the coming 2 3 years definitely it's a good time for them okay but if they work on it like just like i said ki main future bol sakta hu theek hai possible futures but the thing is you need to it depends on the action that action is taken in that it's just like ki main aapko bol do aap 85% laoge exam mein aap khush ho ke us din se padhna band kar diye main bolta hu ki aap agar aise padhte rahe tab ja ke aap 85% laoge ha aapka wo cap hai utna dikh raha hai mere ko 83 to 85% but agar wo khush ho ke aap padhna hi band kar de you won't get the results correct 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 चलिए ऑसम अनिमेश एनी लास्ट मैसेज फॉर आर व्यूअर्स एनी थिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट टू एंड दिस शो विद इंट्यूशन इज रियल इंट्यूशन इज रियल येस एंड यू गाइज ऑल हैव इंट्यूशन 
it's not about i am not nothing special there are many kids doing the course and also i want to encourage people of age 8 to 18 watching this podcast uh, if you even if you have brothers and sisters of that age you can like bring them and uh, have them this uh, like done this course and also there are no limits to this course and you will be amazed what capabilities you have hmm you don't even know the capability correct of what you are able to do i didn't know i was able to uh, i will be able to do this and all correct i will be coming to your podcast <laughs> i didn't know that but after doing intuition it helped me a lot hmm. to my journey awesome thank you so much animesh um i i i know that there's going to be a lot of skeptics around around this even even for me to sort of believe the idea of being able to predict or being able to use your intuition to do things was something that that I couldn't wrap my head around it but with today's conversation I feel like I've gotten closer to understanding how it works and I'm sure for the audience as well and for my team here as well who was who sort of listened to this conversation so thank you so much for for doing this and I I really hope you're very young right now I really hope that you use your powers for the good and you really you know do something um, even more meaningful than what you're doing right now so thank you so much anyway thank you thank you